Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'd like to show you how to format numbers using the custom format. So here we've got numbers that are going to be currency and I want to format these. I want to do something with the zeros and I want to perhaps remove the last three numbers and replace that with K so that we can put rather large numbers here and so rather than 38,000 we would have 38K for example. So let's have a look at this. The first easy thing that I do want to show you though is how do we remove zeros? Well we can remove them for the whole worksheet by going to file and then come down to options and then down to advanced and if you just scroll down the advanced until you come to display options for this workbook and when you're on that one the next one down the one that we actually want is display options for this worksheet so you can actually change the worksheet okay I've only got one worksheet here and at the moment we've got a tick that says show a zero in cells that have zero value if you take that tick out and click OK all these cells here that had zeros in are now showing as blank if we just have a look in one of these cells up at the formula bar you'll see that actually there's still a zero in there it's just not being displayed so it's not removing the zero it's just removing it visually for us but that does the whole worksheet and there might be occasions where you don't want the whole worksheet like this you might just want a section so let's just go back and put that back in so we've got to go back to the options and there's a nice shortcut that you can use rather than clicking file and options hold your alt key down just tap it once and let go and press F and then T so it's alt ft sequentially that brings your excel excel options up now click advanced and again we're going to scroll right down until we find display options for this workbook display options for this worksheet we're going to put the tick back in and then click ok and now we've got our zeros showing so how do we deal with this let's have a look at formatting these numbers and before we do i just want to mention that when you are formatting there's actually four sections to format the first section is positive numbers so let's just put here positive then we have negative numbers then we have what happens to the zero and then we have text so there's actually four parts to formatting and these are separated with a semicolon so you would have something like your positive number then a semicolon then you would have your negative number or the the format of it then another semicolon and then you have the format for your zero and then a semicolon and then the format for your text so it's in that order positive negative zero and text so the first thing to do is highlight the data that we want to format which is these figures here then we want to open up the format dialog box we can either go and click this arrow that's on the corner of number this is your dialog launcher when you click that that opens up the format cells if I close that down or control one does the same you now need to come down to custom where we can now customize what we want here so you can pick one that's already here let's just go to this one if you have a look at this we've got the pound sign then we've got a hash comma and then hash hash zero so what this one's doing it's putting the pound sign at the beginning of the positive number and it's giving us the comma for which is the thousand separator 
but if you look closely we've got a semicolon just there and then the bit before the semicolon is our positive number that's how it's going to look the bit after the semicolon is our negative number so if we use that one and click OK that puts our pound signs on and if I type a negative number in here minus something you'll see that we get the minus sign at the beginning so let's just go back to that highlight this again control one and come back down to custom so there's our type just there so what we want to do is have our negatives as red so if you just click just after the semicolon and in square brackets you can type the system colors so we're going to use red just there for negative numbers so what we want is a k in there instead of the last three digits so what you do is put a comma and then a k and we do that for the negatives as well comma and then k and now let's click OK and there we have at the top if we look at this one we've got 40 487 K or 487 thousand but if you look up in the formula bar it's still the original number which is 486908 so it's rounded it up to the nearest thousand visually but the number hasn't changed if we look at our negative number we ask that to be red with a negative sign which it is and we've got the K in there as well but we've still got our zeros so we've got 0k started about here so let's highlight this and now deal with the zero control one go back to our type just click on the end of it and we need another semicolon now if I just put a semicolon and nothing and no formatting watch what happens I'll click OK and our zeros are now blank so that's great if you just want blank cells but again if you click in there and look up on your formula bar it actually is still a zero so we can still do calculations with it if we need to it just tidies up the spreadsheet visually for us so let's highlight this again and then control one but we may want to format this so let's instead of having a blank cell let's have the word zero click OK now that won't let you do it if you just do that so what you need to do is put that into speech marks so that it knows that it's going to be the text zero click OK and there are zeros now instead of the number zero it's the word zero now notice it's right justified which means it's still a number if we look up in the formula bar it's still a zero so let's highlight these a bit let's select that again control one go to our formatting just in front of the zero let's put a square bracket and again red and a square bracket so now click OK and there's our zeros jumping out at us don't forget there is a difference between the text zero and this because if I click in these it's still zero up in the formula bar but if I type zero into one of the cells you'll see that it goes left justified so it's seeing that as text and not a zero what we might want to do is put something in here to format text okay so for example if somebody wants to put a zero and they've accidentally put an o instead of a zero can you see that left justifies and we might want to highlight that so again highlight and select that area control one at the end of our type just here put another semicolon and now we can say how we want the text to look what we want to do is if text comes up we'd like it blue so square bracket type the word blue and then let's put some question marks let's just move that out of the way just put a few question marks here now click OK again we must put our speech marks in and there's our blue 
question marks where we've mistakenly typed some text in there so if we have a look at what it is this one we look in the formula bar somebody's typed an o instead of a zero so let's type a zero in press enter and that turns it to the word zero because that's what we've asked it to be this one let's have a look at it somebody's typed the word zero and we want that as zero so put a, an actual zero press enter and that turns into zero that's how you format numbers just remember you've got four stages positive negative zero and text and those four items are separated with semicolons hopefully you found that useful if you like the video please give me the thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any future videos click that subscribe button and the bell so that you're informed when i upload new videos thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video